And I've come out today for a bit of sort of halcyon, good old days kind of fishing. I've just brought the Amiga float rod out, a pint of maggots, and I've driven to a favourite little fishery of mine, Chorley Springs in Staffordshire. There's loads of lakes here and it's full of fish. I mean, they're just absolutely full of fish. And what I wanted to do today was sort of not carp fish. Because normally in the spring, you'd find me sat in a bivvy somewhere, using up all my day's holiday, trying to catch a bigger. But I don't really do a lot of that kind of fishing now. I like the river, so I miss the river when it's closed. And at this time of year, I'm just sort of waiting for it to warm up and going to do a bit of tench fishing. Now last year was probably the year that I did the most varied amount of fishing. I did loads of float fishing with this rod, the Amiga float rod, because I was testing it. I did a load of sort of feeder fishing with the 1.75s, the one and a quarters, the one and a halves. Of course, I did a lot of river fishing, especially for my beloved perch. Of course, a massive perch in Holland. The biggest one, six pound five ounce fish, was caught on a one and a quarter Amiga. Now, I can't tell you enough how satisfying that is. When you design and develop products, you know, it's, it's lovely seeing them come to market, but rods like that, they're really special and to catch such special fish on them. So before they come to market, you know, really putting them to the test, it's something else. You know, I caught my biggest ever barbel last year on an Amiga float rod. I caught my biggest ever UK perch on an Amiga float rod. You know, I had, I caught, had some great days catching big chub, testing the one and a quarters. They're just, they're amazing rods. And I, you know, I, a lot of people, I see it, people commenting on the rods. Oh, I love the old Neoteric series, or you should bring back the experts, or why don't you just do the Excalibur again? Well, because these are better. I mean, well, I wouldn't be doing my job properly, would I, if I just re-released stuff from 10 years ago? You know, history is exactly that. Time moves on, carbon fiber technology moves on. Fishing moves on. You know, people are fishing with bigger feeders for barbel. They're fishing in faster water because it's so, so warm in the summer. They're having to fish the weir pools are using bigger feeders. They're fishing for bigger fish as well. Same when you're tench fishing, crucian fishing, bream fishing. Everybody's fishing in a more extreme manner. They're fishing further out. They need to be really accurate. The fish are bigger, the venues are weedier. Time moves on and we've got to move with it. And the Amiga series, ticks that box you know we kind of took all of the great things from the expert series which were great rods don't get me wrong but if we were to bring those rods out today they'd cost twice as much as they did 10 years ago and they're no better the carbon fiber that we're using now this this blend of carbon how fast it is how light it is it's far superior and the Excalibur was kind of like our first dipping of the toe into using this material and we did it as a limited edition series because we weren't sure if people were going to like it or not and people loved them that i think the stock lasts about two weeks but the one thing i didn't like about excalibur is that they were heavy they weren't as crisp as an expert they didn't have that je ne sais quoi that an expert had and the amiga is just the perfect blend of the two and they'll be in shops very soon and you can see it for yourself you know you might be sitting here watching me fishing this float thinking what an absolute weapon he's just he's just making stuff up because he wants to sell a rod i'm not i'm not if i didn't work for quorum if i wasn't sponsored by quorum anything like that for the fishing i do these are the rods i'd buy no question asked and i haven't got to break the bank to buy them either they're not 300 quid they're not some custom build that you need a new mortgage to buy they're omega go and check them out and uh, we'd love to hear from you when you catch your big fish, like I have, when you break those personal bests, let us know. Can't wait to hear from you. Can't wait to catch another great big fish on this.